It's tutorial time. Hey guys, it's Kai. Welcome back to Touch by Kai. And today we will be making this uh, navigation icon right here that you see on the screen. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up an image. And uh, with icons or logos, you're going to make sure that it's a big enough size you can work with it. So we are going to make this image 2000 by 2000. We're going to drag on over from the side over there on that ruler and zoom in, holding down control and scrolling on our mouse wheel to try and line that, that ruler up to the 1000 pixel mark because that is the dead center of 2000 pixels. We're going to grab our lasso tool and create kind of like an, an arrowhead shape. Um, so just go in this this kind of uh, this shape right here, and then we're going to try and line that up to the ruler later on. Uh, so connect that, connect all those back up, and then uh, scroll in like that. So we can make sure that everything is perfectly uh, centered up. Now we're going to uh, color in this uh, this air, this half of the arrowhead uh, just as a black color, just so we can see what we're doing for now. And then I'm going to move that over because it's not directly on the line. It has to be directly on the line, uh, or else when we flip it, then it won't work. So I'm going to delete the excess because we don't need that. And I'm hit select none, go up to to uh, uh, to duplicate the, the layer and then flip that with the flip tool. So now we have an, uh, a flipped image, but it's not centered. So we'll move that over just like that. All right. So now we have our flipped image uh, with our arrowhead, half of the arrowhead. So now uh, we need to actually create the earth uh, after we color this, of course. So we're going to go up to uh, colorize and we're going to color this a nice blue. And when you're picking colors, you're going to want to remember uh, you don't want things to clash too much. So um, so try not to use extremely vibrant colors when you're doing this. So we're going to drag in half of uh, we're going to drag in a box of only half of the icon and color that in white to give this a bit of a, a shine effect. And then we're going to hit select none and then we'll go over to blend and hit overlay. So as you can tell, that makes it a nice, a nice overlay kind of lightness. But we're going to turn the pixel, uh, the opacity down to 50%. We'll move the ruler out of the way temporarily just so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to merge that down because we don't need uh, to keep those separate. So we can move them now together. So now we have to make the earth. So let's drag that down. Hold down control and, uh, and just move that down on, uh, with your mouse. Now we're going to grab the circle tool and draw a big circle holding down the shift button, making sure this is centered back up on the on 1000 pixel mark. And it is We're going to drag up in a big circle, holding down, holding down shift to make sure that our circle is 100% uh, not deformed pretty much. And we're going to fill this in with another color, adding a new layer, of course. And we'll call it Earth. So we're going to pick a, a bluish color, something like a teal. And we're going to fill that in. Adding a new layer. Once we've duplicated our, our round blue circle, we can uh, go up to colors, colorize, and change it to a nice green color so we can create the actual land masses. Now we'll take our paths tool and we'll just create a few shapes. It looks a bit like land on earth and we'll go around in a bit of a random pattern. Of course, you could add islands or anything like, else like that, but when I finished this, I realized that I probably shouldn't have added an island just about to the left of this island I'm making right now. <laughs> then we're going to hit enter on a keyboard to select all of that and then hit delete. Select none. And we'll change the hue. Merging that down and duplicating for a second world. Now, we'll hold down control and we'll move that up to about right there. Duplicate the layer again. We'll take the top layer of the three and make it solid white. Then we'll put that on overlay. Then we'll take the second layer and go to colors, brightness, contrast, and just darken that a bit.
But since I didn't like how small that shadow was, I kind of moved it up even further to create a more depth. So we'll merge down the white overlay onto the earth so we can get that out of the way. And then we'll grab our lasso tool and create another smaller triangle inside of the arrowhead going all the way down to try and create a bit of a lightness. And then we'll go all the way around and connect that, coloring that in white. We're going to put that on overlay and we'll do the same thing we did with the actual arrowhead. We'll duplicate it and flip it to the other side. But since the Earth's color is blending in with that, I think we might go and make it a bit dark instead of light. So we'll go to Colors, Colorize, and change those both to black and drop the opacity to 50%. Now to go for a bit more added depth, we're going to go slightly above the line that we just created. Go down a little bit past the line we just created and create a small little rectangle within that area. Adding a new layer, we'll color that in white. So now our edge has a has a bit of a, a, a light edge, uh, trying to make you think that it ref it's reflecting the light off of the edge of the of the arrowhead. And of course, we'll duplicate that and flip it to the other side as well. We'll do something similar with the earth. So we'll duplicate the earth's layer and move it down a little bit. And we'll move that layer beneath our actual earth layer and change it solid black. I said solid black. I, I, I said, I said that I said solid black. Of course, we'll put on an overlay and then we'll change it to solid black. I told you. And we'll put that on 50% because that's still too dark. Now that's pretty much it. So now. We can just uh, add a few finishing touches. So we'll add a new layer and create a white background, do a bit of shadowing and everything else. Until we're finally left with our final image. There's our navigation icon right there. I think it look, looks pretty good. I, I think it turned out pretty well. I like the way it looks. Uh, it does kind of look like an ice cream cone, though. <laughs> I noticed that after I finished uh, creating it. It does kind of look like an ice cream cone, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you let me know down below what the next tutorial you want to see is, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.